It's road trip time. I'm super excited. I've gotten to do a lot of really fun travel recently. I got out west a lot earlier this year. I got to do hiking in Europe, but I haven't really had a ton of good long road trips. What I'm planning to do this week is drive all the way down to Savannah, Georgia to see one of my good friends who lives down there that I haven't really had a lot of time with recently. So I'm very much looking forward to that. And then on my way back, I'm going to make a few different stops. So I'm going to be going to Congaree National Park in um, South Carolina and then New River Gorge National Park, which is the newest national park, the 63rd in uh, West Virginia. Not a bad view to wake up to. Hey, friend. <laughs> Got coffee. I'm in some little town in West Virginia, about six and a half hours away from Savannah, so lots of driving ahead of me today. My Airbnb was super cute. The bedroom overlooked a little pond that they had on their property and the sun was coming up over it. There were lots of really cool animals. I, I don't know if the turkey or rooster or whatever that was liked me very much. He kept trying to peck my feet. I don't have to look up if that's like an endearing thing or a sign of aggression. I don't know. <laughs> then he tried to get in the car with me, but you know, it's it's fine. Looking forward to the drive. Looking forward to seeing my friend. Looking forward to coffee. Got gas here, but they asked me how much. Because you gotta like go in the store to pay. And so I said eight, because it was like eight gallons. And then apparently that meant eight dollars. But I don't know how you're supposed to know like how much you want to put in by money unless you, I guess, do calculations. I don't know. Let's get on the road. So I'm in North Carolina now. We used to actually come here a lot when I was a little kid. I think I'm gonna stop once I get to Charlotte. I'm gonna stop at a Target to pick up some things that I need as well as go to a little coffee shop, get lunch, kind of take a break from being in the car. Things are going well. I made it to Charlotte. Unfortunately, I locked my keys in my car. I was just going to REI and so I went in and the guy in REI said he could help me break in if I could find a wire hanger. So I'm walking around to all of the different stores to see if they have wire hangers. No one has wire hangers anymore. Everyone has plastic, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh my, what an adventure. I had gone around to so many different stores to try and find a metal hanger. No one has metal hangers anymore. So I went like, I literally walked like Dollar Tree, Five Below, Target, and the Target ladies are really nice and they were trying to find their mechanic. I called a lock company nearby, a locksmith, and just had them, you know, come out. He gave me his card. He spent some time in Columbus, so we bonded over Ohio a little bit. And he was in it within like two minutes. I think this detour all in all only took like an hour, but I'm just like, oh my gosh. This isn't the first time this has happened to me on a road trip. The very first big solo road trip I did was through South Dakota, Wyoming, North Dakota, and then back to Minnesota, which is where I was living at the time. And I also locked my keys in my car at Custer State Park. That was a bummer because the nearest locksmith in that situation was like almost an hour away, maybe 40 minutes. So it took a long time for them to get there to open it. Hopefully nothing more dramatic happens the rest of the trip.
I had a really lovely weekend in Savannah. I didn't film much of it because I don't get to see this friend hardly ever. And we'd been planning this trip for years. It got canceled once. I was supposed to see her like two marches ago and that trip was canceled because my flight was canceled and all of this stuff went down. We did so much in a span of two days. She had everything planned super well. She's been here longer since that original time I was planning to visit her. So I feel like she knew all the good spots, all the good restaurants, all the kind of special ways to do things. On Saturday, plans to just explore all of downtown Savannah, the historic section of Savannah, Forsyth Park. We did some museum tours. That was all amazing. And then yesterday we did a few more tours in the morning and then we went out to Tybee Island, which is where the beach is. And it ended up like kind of storming a few times and raining, but we both agreed that that was almost better because neither of us are like huge beach people where we just want to spend all day lying out at the beach. So we did get to go and see the beach and saw some really cool clouds and got to put our feet in the water in the ocean but we also went to a local nature center there and got to see sea turtles one of which is named ike and he'll be released next saturday back into the wild he was a hatchling who didn't make it out of the nest and they have raised him the last three years and then get to release him back into the wild that was a really good weekend i'm sad to be leaving but now i'm going to be driving to congaree national park what i have planned there for at least the first part of the day is a kayak trip try and get the kayak off of my car. I definitely was not expecting that it was going to be on my car. People are so friendly. Wow, I'm actually surprised how smoothly this is going so far. My canoe. It's almost in the water. It was pretty easy to bring it down, actually. Luckily, a guy helped me lift it off of my car. I think that would've been the toughest part. The guy at the boat launch, he was helping me take my kayak off of my car. It was funny because he asked, you know, if it was my first time here and I said it was. And he said, well, you know, this is the best national park in South Carolina. And I told him I'm well aware this is the only national park in South Carolina. This is actually one of the national parks that's ranked as being one of the worst. I don't know, so far it's pretty cool. Hey, what's up? Please don't fall in the water. Please don't fall in the water. It's risky. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Catching many fish? What kind of fish? Okay. So fun. All 
right, we'll do. Does one of you have an uncle up there? Yeah. He was saying wait or someone should come up. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. He says he only caught one fish, so I don't know if it's really good luck to go up there, but. <laughs> I think there's no water sinks right here. Mm. Gotta clean out the shoes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we made it. Sadly, I think I have to start heading back up the river. It's been um, probably almost like an hour, 45 minutes, almost two hours. I have to get this kayak back by five and I think it's probably gonna take me longer to kayak up river. It's been beautiful. So there's no one currently at the parking lot getting in or out of their cars. So I'm going to have to try to lift this onto my car by myself. Help came. Thank goodness someone came along. I'm all for doing things by myself. I love to try. I was struggling. That was going to be really hard. I honestly don't know if I would have ever gotten it by myself. So very grateful for those people who came. Well, I made it into the visitor center. I talked with them about my campsite reservation. I saw the infamous mosquito meter that they use to show how bad the mosquitoes are currently in the park. I have good bug spray, so I should hopefully be okay. I also did get a postcard for my grandparents. I opened my sunroof to just kind of keep an eye on my uh, kayak up there. So I think I did okay tying it up. We will just pray that it doesn't fall off. I don't know if I've ever really said this officially, but I actually have a lifetime goal of visiting all of the national parks. There are 63 national parks currently as of today. Conagree National Park was my 32nd of 63. So basically what that means is I've visited over half of the national parks in existence in the U.S. currently, which is so exciting. I have a lot of the hard ones left, but you know, we'll get there. Made it to the campsite. This isn't a drive-in campsite. It's a walk-in campsite, so I have to get everything together to carry over there. Let's do it. Mosquitoes are pretty bad. I'm really hoping that after going through all of this preparation, cutting, etc., I'm able to start a fire. We know I've struggled before. Ouch. Yep. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm losing Brussels sprouts left and right. I love them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what I did. What on earth just happened? The grinder is not working. Bummer. That looks dangerous. It's like whole peppercorn flakes. Okay, well, I don't know how I feel about this. I honestly have no clue if this is how you're supposed to do this. I really hope they're cooked. I got a bug bite right here. I also got one on my hand. My face is a little bit up, so sorry about that. But we are officially leaving Congaree National Park and starting to drive towards West Virginia where we'll be visiting New River Gorge National Park. Oh my gosh, this looks ridiculous. Beautiful. 